who's ready for a beach day hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is anna and i make new york city based adventure videos spiked with love and positivity today we're headed to jones beach in long island in this video i'm going to tell you all about the beach so that if you're planning a trip there you'll know what to expect let's get going jones beach state park is located in long island on the south shore it has 6.5 miles of beach on the Atlantic Ocean. The best part is that it's less than 20 miles from New York City. The easiest way to get there is by driving. Public transportation is available by bus, but it takes much longer than driving. There are 6 million visitors to the park each year. Jones Beach was designed on the theme of an ocean liner. There are many activities you can engage in besides swimming in the ocean. You can walk or ride your bike along the boardwalk, fish at Field 10, visit the cafes or restaurants, do miniature golf, play shuffleboard, basketball, cornhole, paddle tennis, table tennis and pickleball, or enjoy concerts at the theater. There are also children's playgrounds. Keep in mind that no pets are allowed year round. Surfing paddleboarding and windsurfing are allowed at several locations. You can also enjoy Wild Play Adventure Park, which consists of zip lines, aerial adventures, and a 40-foot jump. Great for team building exercises or a fun day with friends and family. There are several shows at the park such as the Beth Page Air Show every Memorial Day weekend, July 4th Fireworks Spectacular, various concerts at the theater, band shell entertainment, softball and volleyball league tournaments, and nature center programs. For a little history, Robert Moses created the park in the 1920s. He was an American public official who worked mainly in the New York metropolitan area. He was not a trained civil engineer, but his programs and designs influenced many of them. His decision favoring highways over public transit helped create the modern suburbs of Long Island. Robert Moses was the New York City Parks Commissioner and Chairman of the Long Island State Park Commission, among the other 10 titles he officially held. However, he was never elected to any public office. He aided in the construction of New York's campuses for the 1939 and 1964 World's Fairs and helped persuade the United Nations to locate its headquarters in Manhattan instead of Philadelphia. During his tenure as chief of the state park system, the available land for parks grew to 2,600,000 acres. There is controversy surrounding Moses' choices, which I won't get into during this video. The way Jones Beach was created is quite interesting. Sand was dredged from what is now the state boat channel, raising the elevation of the barrier islands by 14 feet. This connected several small islands into one long stretch topped by Ocean Parkway. The park was created from what was once mosquito-infested swamps and small islands. Zach's Bay is on the other side of Jones Beach and provides a more calm water swimming experience. It's great for those who are not fond of waves or if you have small children. If you know me, you know I love a good fun fact, and I couldn't end the video without one. Water quality testing is done at least once a week at state park beaches. The water is sampled for bacterial indicators of impaired water quality, so you can always be sure you're wading in safe waters. Check the description box for links to my other New York City content. Oh my gosh, this is so cold. I hope you get to enjoy the beach on a warmer day. The water was absolutely freezing cold ice cubes could have been in there. I couldn't have told the difference. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy your next trip to the beach. Let's keep in touch on Instagram at Miss Anna Adventures. Looking forward to hearing from you and seeing you in my next video. Bye!